We're kids who weren't bullied why do you think you weren't? Genuinely oblivious. I know that just don't react isn't good advice. Because most people simply cannot hide their emotional reaction and even the slightest reaction gives a bully the feedback they need. So this isn't meant to be advice to someone who does notice and feels bad about bullying. But if you genuinely don't react, because you genuinely don't even notice what they are saying or don't care, it really does work. You're just not a fun target to me. Anyone who was mean to me was like a weird creature from another planet. I was as curious as anything but I didn't really want to interact with them, so I would just shrug. This was not a reaction that gave them the feedback they needed. Also, rest in bitch face. I wasn't as weird as the other weird kids. Cause I have a resting bitch face. I have a resting asshole face. A lot of people ask me what's wrong when I'm on my phone, or reading a book or just doing nothing in general. When I tell them nothing they ask why I look angry. I wouldn't say I never was, but I will say it was only a couple incidents that fizzled out pretty quick. I was oblivious as heck. I remember there was a girl who honestly tried. The last attempt was at a study hall where she took an unopened drink of mine that I had on my desk. Drank a huge swig. Went oh man thanks I really needed that. And very obviously had spit it in while putting it back down. I smiled and gave it to her. Insisting it was no trouble and I didn't need it. She didn't take it. So I put it on her desk for her. It really wasn't me trying to get back at her. I didn't understand at the time why her friends were laughing and just went back to work. I learned from a different student later they weren't laughing at me. I never had another incident. I had herbs palsy in my right arm. So when I was younger I was scared that I might get picked on for it. But I think it actually helped me a little bit. All of my friends were pretty protective of me, so I never had any issues. Cause I was home shoulds. Hey but munch. Hand over your lunch money. Sigh. Okay. Mom. Everyone in my school was far too kind and polite the most I got was friendly teasing over my weird habits and unhealthy obsession with video games. Bullying just wasn't a big issue at the school I went to because I brought my lacrosse stick to school and kids would be scared I'd hit them. I had a maniacal plan of attack because in addition to being weird, books and TV had me convinced I would eventually be bullied from a young age. So when it came to being weird, I went over the top I weirded so hard it seemed like I was begging for attention. And the thing about begging for attention is, people refuse to give you attention, to teach you a lesson. And that's exactly what wanted. It is strange, now that I'm a pretty normal adult running into my old classmates who remember me showing up to school on the weekly in clown makeup. When fat was bullied. When nerdy trying hard was bullied. When thin and chill not bullied. Society is pretty basic. I was 6 feet 1. 225 pounds when I got to high school. 6 feet 6. 280 pounds when I graduated. I was bullied a little bit in middle school. But that changed in high school. I worked out almost every day so only the bigger kids could mess with me. Then I befriended most of the bigger kids. Diplomacy. Honestly, I was probably too disconnected from their world to care or even notice attempts at bullying. I was so different other kids didn't seem to know how to interact with me. And that pretty much precluded any bullying. I think I was pretty weird at school. I got if you weren't cute you'd be weird as duck a few times. I was a shy and quiet person who kept to themselves and their friends. I didn't get the memo I was supposed to be self conscious about being my weird self. So no one else seemed to care, either. I was smart, nerdy, a gamer, a metalhead, and the girl who never tried to be sexy or flirty. I just wanted to learn, rock out, and play games. I was very kind to everyone, from the special education students to the jocks, and they were all, in turn kind to me. I wasn't bullied because they thought epilepsy was contagious. 
because the only time I got bullied I gave the kid a bloody nose and got a 7 day suspension. Because I was super nice. I also wasn't ever the weirdest kid around. I usually had a friend in every circle. So I was decently well liked. And my weirdness was considered quirky. To add to all that. In hindsight I think some girls tried in middle school. But I didn't have much of a reaction. So I wasn't a valuable target. One kid tried it. And was in the hospital within an hour. No one tried after that. And I got a nice 7 day vacation out of it. Pet mosquitoes. My classmates were nice enough, and I was the straight A student in elementary, so that afforded me some respect, I guess. I wasn't super weird, though. I just kinda sucked at socializing. My friends were thugs. I was really, 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 really gothic and everyone just thought I was crazy, and was afraid of me. They couldn't out talk me, neither could they win in a physical way with me. I was very good at talking back to any shit, and was taller than all girls and most boys up to high school. I was also reasonably strong physically, and have a resting bitch face. So no one ever thought messing with me was fun or fake. In short, I was always ready to fight back if they try, and they knew it. My father taught me a simple thing, hit the tallest guy, hit hard and make sure they go down. Their friends will leave you alone. It worked pretty well to dissuade people from bullying and attacking me, and let me be the weird kid at heart I like to be. One time, I don't really remember much, because I was seeing red, but he took my backpack in front of everyone, and he's a big guy, but when the incident was over he had a long gash across his leg. They say I chased him, and we tripped or something. Never bothered me again. And he was actually a pretty cool dude before, and through the rest of high school. I don't know what compelled him to do that. My school didn't really have bullies. Guess he was feeling froggish, but I leaped first. Had no friends in elementary, got bullied pretty badly, had a great group of friends in high school. My elementary bullies laid off, and or I barely thought about them at that point. I spent 90% of my day with my nose in a book, and probably didn't notice from age 7 onward. I was 6, 2 by the age of 13. Probably got intimidated. Cause I'd bite a kid with no hesitation. Don't care. I actually did get bullied, but it ended pretty quick. I wasn't what you would call popular in school, and was very weird and only talked about destiny the game and I had trouble focusing. I was more or less picked on in 9th grade, but it got worse. When I was in 10th grade I had two bullies. Their names won't be disclosed, but let's call them Derek and Bruce. We had just finished watching a video about a pod of whales in class, and because of my size and what I had on I was called an orca all the time. Eventually it got so bad I didn't want to attend school, but my girlfriend at the time was helping me out with it a lot. Both of them would take my stuff and physically bully me, and Eric had brought a knife to school, and threatened me with it multiple times, which the school did nothing about all, because he was one of the wealthier family's son and they didn't want to call them, and tell them what was going on. One day Derek decided, that getting into a physical fight with me in the hole would be a great idea, he starts shoving me into the wall, and hitting me, and the dean doesn't do anything. I asked him, if I could fight back, and he said, as long as there's no ambulance involved it's fine. So we got into a fight and I went into a bit of a rage. I ended up grabbing the back of his head, and kicking out his leg then smashing his face into my knee three times, and bashed his head into the wall twice. He was on the wall bruised, and bloody and the dean had to end up calling his mom and the nurse. When his mom showed up, and saw me by him with us both bloody she knew I was the one who beat him, and she wanted me kicked out, and in a way I was all for it. But my girlfriend at the time, had told her the full story, and she calmed down a bit. I don't know what happened to Derek, but he was never at school the next year or year after, and Bruce had started being more friendly, and so did everyone else. By the way I'm now happily engaged to my girlfriend and we are planning on getting a place now. I don't know man. Beats me.
I'm the oldest in my class by year and sort of a teacher's pet and without trying. I'm also just generally as nice as I can, or at least I try to anyone, so I guess they never really tried to do something. The people who have. I haven't actually had much contact with, because we're in different classes and stuff. I don't have many friends, because I find it hard to start a conversation, but the ones I do, have are cool people. I also tend to look really scary, when I zone out often, because of my resting death face. I don't know. Obligatory apologies for grammar. I'm not English, because I was smarter than them, and they knew it. They had seen me tear someone apart with words, as cringy as that sounds. It was literally what happened. I think some of them had a form of respect for me, some might even have been scared of me, because, if they took it too far, I exploded, and they did not wanna be the one closest to me. When that happened, I honestly think I would qualify as stereotypical school shooter material, had I lived in the US, and generally been more violent, which I almost never was, you know, the quiet on the spectrum kid, that could still get angry angry, they wouldn't bully me, just exclude me. If you pair that with them trying to force me out of the closet, which I 100% wasn't ready for, you don't get the best mental health. Then I got diagnosed with anxiety, stress and depression and kinda dropped out changed school. I'm happier now than I was then. And most of them. I honestly hope to never see again. You wouldn't get the satisfaction. Because I was a weird nerdy kid, but also was a class clown and was nice to basically everyone. So the weirdness was just a quirk, rather than a defining trait when people thought about me. It was also a small school and just being friendly with the really popular kids make you more popular by proxy. Honestly just not trying too hard, and treating everyone well made my high school days pretty good. I wasn't the most attractive. I was nerdy and chubby, and I was never the type to score dates. But I was a lot more popular than I realized later. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.